the Obamas gets bad news after just returning from their European trip, since the day the mainstream media got a whiff that something would be different about the President and First Lady's living arrangements, they've been like bloodhounds on a scent, trying to put the numbers to how much it would cost for the First Lady and Baron to live in New York instead of Washington, D.C. While the Trump family has made a name for themselves as being anything but average, this somehow still made the liberals furious because of the cost. The arrangement was made so that their son, Barron, could finish the school year with no more disruption than absolutely necessary, which they felt like was the right thing to do. This is very typical of them since they always seem to try to do the right thing, no matter the fallout. As if that wasn't enough, the leftist penny pinchers have decided that the president's trips to his estate in Florida are also completely unreconcilable with his desire to cut the budget down. Now, given he's visiting his own personal estate, and even hosting foreign diplomats there, foregoing the normal precedental perks of going to Camp David, etc., however, there's been no end of wailing and gnashing of teeth over his venturing out of D.C. It's enough to make one wonder if they want the first family centrally located at all times for some sort of nefarious reasons. Now, however, some information has surfaced about the precious Obama family and the cost of their extravagant lifestyle that might make the liberals think twice before they slam the Trumps for their travel expenses. It's scary, folks. Via Patriot Beacon, the Obamas traveled to Italy last week hoping to steal the spotlight away from President Trump who was there for his first foreign trip since taking office. After their European trip that strategically coincided with President Trump and the First Lady, the Obamas returned to the States with some bad news. Judicial Watch just announced that it obtained records from the Secret Service and the Air Force in response to Freedom of Information Act FOIA, requests that show Obama family travel cost taxpayers a grand total of $99,714,527.82. Here's what the new records show, the March 2014 trip to Key Largo during spring break, where the first family stayed at the exclusive Ocean Reef Club, cost the Secret Service $247,827.50. $182,120.33 for hotels and $65,707.17 in travel expenses. The total cost of that trip with previously released $885,683 in flight costs from the Air Force is $1,133,510.50. Other documents show that Michelle Obama's February 2015 Aspen vacation cost the Secret Service a total of $64,807.41, $47,109.28 for hotels, $3,559.43 in rental cars and $14,138.70 in other travel expenses. The total cost of the trip with $57,068.80 in flight costs from previously released Air Force records is $121,876.21. Judicial Watch released documents from the Air Force concerning the 2016-2017 Obama family Christmas trip to Honolulu showing 17.9 hours flying at $142,380 per hour bringing the total flight cost to $2,548,602. Judicial Watch also revealed that it has filed a Freedom of Information Act FOIA, lawsuit against the U.S. Department of Homeland Security for Secret Service records associated with President Obama's movements, schedule and activities since his departure from the White House. This lawsuit is seeking all records of former President Barack Obama's movements, schedule, activities, and slash or meeting for January 21, 2017 through March 21, 2017. Such records include, but are not limited to, U.S. Secret Service schedules and activity reports. It was very well known that the Obamas loved the extravagance that came with the presidential life, however, I don't think we exactly knew just how much they were costing us until they left office. The difference between them and the Trump clan is that they aren't taking liberties with our money that they didn't also take with their own. Their lives are strikingly similar to what they were before, 
in the way of comforts, and they're even saving us money in some ways. For instance, the First Lady is cutting her staff down from Michelle Obama's 26 to just 10. That's less than half because I guess when you don't require that people wait on you hand and foot, you can afford to cut it down a little. No doubt this won't sway his loyal fans any since their love of the Obamers can't possibly be rooted in logic, but it's great for us to know that we've got those grasping leeches off of the governmental doll. Now if we can just get them deported, that'd be great. Source, Patriot Beacon, share if you're glad to have the Obamas out of the White House. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.